This one's going to be on NanoShot. Basically, it's a screenshot tool. And when you open it, it's just going to sit on your tray here. Okay. Uh, the first feature they have here is the delay feature. This is basically used, uh, for example, you want to take a, a screenshot of your menu. So I'm going to delay this by 5 seconds. Okay. And I'm going to take a screenshot. And now just go open, you know, the menus that you want to open or whatever. And there you go, you have a screenshot here. Save it to a desktop, and now you open it. And here you go, you have a picture of uh, the menus that we had. So that's what the delay is usually used for. Okay. But let me go disable the delay here. Uh, another thing you can do is, um, let's see, take a screenshot from your video files. So you just select the videos that you want to, you know, do this for. See here, for example, uh, that one, okay. And uh, right here, they tell you, you know, how many frames you want. This is not gonna come out like a, a gallery pick. It's just gonna come out like single frames, which is not really that convenient. But if you want to do that, you could. Let's say we do uh, three, okay, three of this. There you go. It pops out here, uh, and then you, you know, open it up that's it for that uh, let's go to the next one um, oh yeah let me give you an example here if you want to take a screenshot of a window that you have open uh, let's say I have dig here so like you select it from here you know so I said dig and this thing pops up take this one out right uh, what you can do here is actually apply some effects to it not really that important but you can do that so they have stroke, uh, drop shadow, reflection, and grayscale. Um, <clears throat> so it just comes like you know by default you can do this if you want, but not really that important. Uh, but for example, let's say I do use grayscale, okay? Do that, and now uh, you have uh, other options. If you want to upload it or save it? Let's say we save it to our desktop first, okay? And okay, here we go, save. And here we go, we have our picture, and you see it's grayscale, so it did apply the effect. Um, if you want to upload it, you could, you hit upload here, and they give you some options here. Let me see, you have Flickr, uh, Image Shack, and, and uh, what is this, IMGUR, I don't know. So let's say you upload it to uh, Image Shack, let's do that. And there you go, that's it. Uh, what is this here? Oh yeah, open the page, and there you go. It pops up, and you have your um, image here. You can send this link to you know your chat, your IM, whatever it is you want to do. Uh, so there you go. Uh, another thing is uh, what else is here? Let's see, cancel this. You know they have this thing called the you know take a screenshot from web page but it's kind of stupid so let me explain what it is here let me delete this so you have let's say you have this okay um i'm click on something let's click on what the hell is this click on this all right let me copy this thing here anyways uh they have this thing called the screenshot uh, take you you know a screenshot from the web page so if you do this and i hit okay or you paste it in the link whatever hit OK uh, it's kinda dumb because they don't let you take the screenshot of the full page they only take you like you know the portion of it so if you go down you can see like you know the page is not completed you can only take what you see here which is kind of dumb because um, you know if I wanted to do this I'll just use uh, what was the other one I'll just use uh, this one right here take the selected area and just you know highlight the one that I want and that would be my single one so as far as the 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 web page part um, that thing is stupid because you can only take a portion I thought you just take up the, you know the whole entire page which you can't so if I take this picture here um, you see it only shows the portion of it not the whole thing dumb okay fix that anyways that's it for this program 
it's actually pretty cool it's lightweight and you know if, if you don't like uh, shutter or something then uh, you can actually use this pretty convenient you can actually upload you know not a big deal uh, in the future I wish they have like uh, you know logins uh, for the uploads to you know my image shack account or something like that but uh, it's pretty cool for what it is right now if you want to hit that up and uh, check it out uh, that's it for nano shot okay